And police have demolished a wall be belonging to the Jesus is Alive Ministries GM Church, which is led by former Starehe MP Bishop Margaret Wanjiru. A scaffold ensued during the exercise that left Bishop Wanjiru and some church members nursing injuries during the demolition that brought down the wall for allegedly being built on government property. Addressing the press and emotional Wanjiru flanked by Starehe MP Amos Mwago said the security officers had informed her that they had been sent by the Kenya Railways Managing Director to carry out the demolitions. Bishop Anjiru blamed the Kenya Kwanzaa government for what she said was unfair treatment to her, given her spirited campaign for the UDA party to form government. She added that the contention between the church property and the Kenya Railways was already in court, hence there was no need for the demolition. <laughs> na kutuharibia mali yetu wameharibu vitu zetu wametunyang'anya masimu wametuumiza ile kabisa sasa mimi nataka kusema hivi hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza ndio tulipigania i'm one of the chief campaign campaigners of Kenya kwanza government i'm among the very first people that started selling and campaigning for his excellency William Ruto truly i wasn't campaigning to be repaid like this i wasn't campaigning for land grabbers to come and start claiming that our church properties are their properties. We cannot lose properties in this country. Now, ni wengi, wamekuja, wanasema ni NIS, wengine wanasema ni DCIO, wengine ni polisi, ni wengi. So definitely government is involved, and it, it is sad, very sad, that this is the government that we campaigned for. I'm yet to believe that they can do this to me. I'm the one who sold Kenya Kwanza, UDA, in Nairobi County. I'm the one who gave them a platform. Leave alone that. I'm the one who gave them a vision for Nairobi. And today, look at what we are suffering. Ukingia ukundani kumejaa polisi and they are all armed. 